Hi, question number 8 taken from June 2014, Advanced Level Maths, HSC Paper 3. The diagram shows the curve y is equal to x cos of half x for 0 is less or equal to x, less or equal to pi. First part, find dy by dx and show that 4, I mean 4 d to y over dx squared plus y plus 4 sine of half x is equal to 0. Also find the exact value of the area of the region enclosed by this part of the curve and the x-axis. OK, for the first part of the question, we need to find dy by dx. So y is equal to x cos of half x. So then, what I can say that u is equal to x and v is equal to cos of half x. Clearly, this is a product rule. So we're going to say du by dx is equal to 1, dv by dx is equal to half sine of half x. Remember, if you differentiate cos, you're going to get negative. So v du by dx times u dv by dx is going to be equal to dy by dx. So dy by dx is equal to u dv by dx plus v du by dx. So that's going to be cos of half x. All right, plus minus half times this is going to be half x times sine of half x. Therefore, we can clean it up. Cos of half x plus minus becomes minus half x sine of half x. So here we are for dy by dx. Let us go and find d to y over dx squared first and then show that all this is going to be equal to zero. So we're going to differentiate this. If you differentiate uh, d dx of cos of half x, sorry, cos of half x, here we are. What are you going to get? Differentiating this you're going to get minus half sine of half x. So this part is done, all right. Now how are we going to differentiate this? So this is again a product rule. Half x, so we can say uh, u is equal to half x and then v is equal to sine of half x. Differentiating, you're going to get du by dx is equal to half dv by dx is equal to half cos of half x. So again, v d by dx plus u dv by dx. So v du by dx is half sine of half x, half sine of half x, plus u dv by dx. One half x times half is one quarter. So one quarter x, then cos of half x. Now, remember that you're taking this minus that. So you're taking the derivative here. So therefore, d2y over dx square is going to be equal to this, which is minus half sine of half x, minus the whole thing here. So minus, um, in brackets, half sine of half x plus one quarter x cos of half x. So going to give us negative sine of half x, negative half sine of half x, negative one quarter x cos of half x. Right, so from here this is d2y over dx square. We need to multiply this by 4 as required in the rubric of the question. So this must be multiplied by 4. So what's going to happen if I multiply this by 4? I'm going to have to multiply everything by 4. So if I say 4 times d2y over dx square, that's going to give me 4 times minus, minus half, which is then minus 2 sine of half x. 4 times here, I mean half, is going to be minus 2 sine of half x. Okay, then 4 times this is going to be 1, because 1 quarter times 4 is 1, so minus 
what is this x cos of half x if we look at the question carefully x cos of half x equal to y so we can substitute this one by y now we're going to send everything here for d to y over dx square minus 2 sine of half x minus 2 sine of half x is minus 4 sine of half x but you send on the other side it's going to become plus 4 sine of half x and the y can come here so plus y and nothing is left on the other side that's going to be 0 so that has been shown here we are for the first part of the question now then for the second part of the question we need to find the area enclosed by the curve and uh, okay so this is um, y is equal to x cos of half x so how are we going to find the area enclosed? We're going to integrate it definitely. But this is integration by parts. Okay, where you have the integral of u dv is equal to uv minus integral of v du. And we're going to be using late. So where do we go from here? x is equal to u. That's the algebraic. And the trigonometric is, is, is the one after. So that's going to be dv. So dv is going to be cos of half x. So if you were to integrate this back, you're going to end up with 2 sine of half x. But um, yeah, so that's fine. Integrating cos, you're going to get this. And if you differentiate this, du is going to get 1. So here we are. Now, uv, okay. So this is going to be equal to uv. And what is uv? 2 times, uh, 2 sine of half x times x is 2x sine of half x. And then minus the integral of v du which is 1 times, the 2 can go outside, sine of half x, dx. So this is going to become 2x sine of half x minus, if you integrate this, you're going to get 2, all right, and then that's going to be negative, cos of half x. So clearly, here we have 2x sine of half x, all right, minus minus becomes plus, 2 times 2 is 4, 4 cos of half x. Now that's our integral. So basically we just have to substitute the values pi and the limits of pi and 0. So from here, where do we go? Right, um, so pi, if you were to put it here, is going to become 2 pi times the sine of half pi, pi upon 2. So what is sine of pi upon 2? And the sine of that's going to be 1. So that's going to become 1 plus 4 times cos of half pi. So again, pi upon 2, all right, and the cos of that is going to be 0. So plus 0. That's the upper limit minus the lower limit. 0 comes here, it's going to become 0 minus 4 times cos of half times 0 is cos of 0. And that's going to become 2 pi plus 0 minus 0 minus minus becomes plus isn't it so but this is I mean cos of zero hang on a second um, cos of zero is going to give us one okay so that was supposed to be plus because we have plus inside here but where is it uh, yeah yeah plus okay so plus plus four plus minus becomes minus so minus four so here's the exact area, exact area, value of the area is 2 pi minus 4 units square. Take care.